Now, I gotta say I find it just a little humorous that the day after I make a video talking about just how many Star Wars projects are currently confirmed to be in development, rumors of yet another one would arise. And this time it's that Donald Glover is going to be returning to the role of Lando Calrissian in a new Disney Plus series. And before discussing how it feels like we're just constantly getting rumors or reports about, well, all sorts of projects and other things going on behind the scenes at Lucasfilm and or Disney, Let's take this one seriously for a moment and discuss and dissect the idea that Lando, played by Donald Glover, would be getting his own series. And the first thing I think we need to keep in mind here is that Solo was not the most successful or profitable Star Wars film. In fact, it lost somewhere in the ballpark of $90 million. So right off the bat, it might be a bit hard to believe they'd produce something that could be construed as a spin-off of a failed movie. And don't get me wrong here, I actually enjoyed Solo. There were a lot of things I liked about it. Yes, there were also some things I didn't. It certainly wasn't the greatest Star Wars movie ever or anything like that. But at the very least, I had fun with it. And if you didn't like it, that's fine. And I can certainly understand that. And basically, especially when it comes to the general audience, I think it boiled down to being a movie or story that not many people wanted to see or cared about. No one was really asking for a Han Solo backstory. And as I've said before, his introduction in A New Hope in the cantina scene is one of the best, most classic character introductions ever. It let us know everything we needed to know about this character, and just made us want to see how his story would unfold. Anyway here, say what you will about Solo, but I do think Donald Glover's Lando was one of the highlights, and I'm certainly not opposed to seeing him return to the role. I also think, quite clearly, there were bigger plans in place for Solo than just one movie, I mean, all the major players even signed up to do more than one film, and though a lot of people think including Maul at the end was just dumb, pointless fan service, I think the idea there was for him and Crimson Dawn to be the bad guys in a series of movies that was kicked off by Solo. I think there were plans for a, shall we say, mini shared story involving all these characters. And I certainly don't think it's impossible they would move those plans to a Disney Plus show. In fact, I think Han's story would have made for a much better series than a movie, especially since my biggest complaint with the movie might just be that it felt like a checklist of every major event that had ever happened in Han's past. I mean, he meets Chewie and Lando, gets his famous deal 44 blaster, does the Kessel Run in 12 parsecs, wins the Falcon, and shoots someone first, all in one movie, and all in the course of what feels like a week or so. And I think this whole story would have felt better or more organic, if all these things would have been spread out over the course of an entire series that could span a few years or seasons. Though the problem does still remain of how many people really care to actually see all those things and or a Han origin story. Yes, he's a beloved character, but is there really that much interest from the general audience or the casual fan? And I suppose we can then ask the same question of Lando and a series about him. How many people are eager to see more of his history or story? Though again, this could always, in a sense, double as a sequel to Solo, and carry on that story, which, yeah, could be interesting. There are also some other fun possibilities here, like including the original Lando, Billy Dee Williams, to possibly narrate this, and the whole series could be called The Lando Chronicles, and could again be Billy Dee reading off or listening to some of his old stories. And this, of course, all relates back to an Easter egg in Solo, when we see Lando actually recording his chronicles, which relates back to a series of three books. Anyway, again, my doubts about this mainly come from the fact that if Solo didn't succeed in theaters, would a Lando series succeed on Disney Plus? And sure, maybe the answer is yes. Maybe, as I said, this type of story might actually do much better in a series format, where they have the time to draw things out a little more and to really explore the character or characters. There's also the possibility that this wouldn't be an ongoing series, but rather a mini-series, or be just one season that lasted a few episodes, much like the Obi-Wan series, which will be only one season and six episodes, I believe. And hey, if they're going to give a character like Cassian and or his own series, why not Lando? Though it's worth noting Rogue One was a much bigger success at the box office than Solo, though Lando is obviously a much bigger and more well-known and popular character than Cassian and or, so who knows. Then again, there's also the possibility that there might be nothing to this at all, that this rumor was made up by someone, passed along, and then others bit and ran with the story, and now here I am reporting on it as well. Again, it feels like every other day lately, a new rumor is coming out of Lucasfilm, which might just come from the fact that right now there's really not a whole lot of Star Wars related content to talk about. We are in a bit of a dry patch for content, but as I pointed out in my video yesterday, 
there is quite a bit on the horizon, quite a bit that's already been confirmed to be coming. There's also the chance these are intentional leaks from Lucasfilm just to float the idea of a Lando series around, to see how people or fans react to the idea before they actually commit to anything. Another possibility is these are genuine rumors from within Lucasfilm that are being passed along, meaning even the people leaking it don't know if they're credible or not. Because it's not like just because you work at Lucasfilm, you know everything they're doing or going to do. I guarantee you there is a lot of secrecy within the company itself, and that the employees there talk just like they do at any other job in the world. I mean, I'm sure most of us have had a job at some point where you hear rumors of what management is up to, and those rumors immediately fly around the company. Likely something like that happens at Lucasfilm all the time. There are rumors of projects that go around that may or may not be true, and people discuss them at the proverbial water cooler. Because again, it's not like just because you work at Lucasfilm, you're privy to everything. If anything, it's a very need-to-know type company. So perhaps these rumors do come from Lucasfilm, but they're just rumors there too. Yet another possibility is, of course, people are either getting played and running with completely made-up rumors from people claiming to be in the know, or they could certainly be making them up themselves. All I know is that I myself have gotten a few cryptic-type emails, mostly from before The Rise of Skywalker came out, from people claiming to know someone at Lucasfilm who told them this or that, and a couple of them turned out to be close to the mark, but none of them were dead on, and many of them were just flat out wrong and clearly fake. And speaking of The Rise of Skywalker, I think because its story leaked online early, and yes, what was being reported on months before the film came out was pretty spot on, has lent a lot of credence to other rumors coming out of Lucasfilm in general. I mean, if a detailed outline of The Rise of Skywalker could leak, why not the fact that they're in talks with Donald Glover about returning as Lando? Though at the same time, many more people would likely know something, and maybe nearly everything, about the rise of Skywalker considering the sheer number of people working on that project than might know about discussions about a potential upcoming project which are likely being kept very secretive by a few people within the company. Unless maybe Donald Glover is already in or signed on, and this is in some phase of pre-production, which means things are more likely to leak out about it. Though given the state of the world right now with a certain illness going around, that kind of seems unlikely. It seems unlikely that Disney and Lucasfilm would be committing to so many series in these uncertain times. So in closing here, sure, bring on a Lando series. As someone who enjoyed Solo and wouldn't mind seeing that story continue, I'm not opposed to this. Lando's one of my favorite characters as well, and I thought Donald Glover did a really great job portraying him. But until Lucasfilm officially says something, I have my doubts. There's just way too many Star Wars rumors going around lately for all of them to be true. Well, that's all I've got for you this time. Now it's your turn to tell me what you think of this rumor. Do you think it's true? Do you believe it? Or are you skeptical? And do you want to see a Lando series? Or does this not interest you all that much or at all? Whatever the case may be, leave a comment below and let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.